magandang araw sa inyong lahat. The Synod frequently insisted on the need for a prayerful approach to the sacred text as fundamental element in the spiritual life of every believer in the various ministries and states in life with particular reference to Lectio Divina. Ang ibig kong mangyari ay palalimin ang spirituality ng mga clergy at laity sa Diocese of Antipolo. Sabi nga ni St. Jerome, Ignorance of the Scripture is ignorance of Christ. Kaya nga, pupunta sa inyong mga parokya ang mga laity na may kasamang mga pare upang ituro unang-una sa inyong Paris Pastoral Council ang pamamaraan ng Lectio Divina, ituturo nila sa iba't ibang mga organization at ministries at sana makaabot hanggang sa periperis ng inyong parokya upang dumating ng araw, lahat na tayo gagawa nito. Isang mapagpalang buhay para sa ating lahat. Buhay na pinagpala na galing sa kapangyarihan ng salita ng Diyos. Nilikha niya ang lahat sa pamamagitan ng kapangyarihan ng salita. At higit sa kapangyarihan ng salitang lumikha, ang salita ay naging tao at nakipanayam sa atin. Niyakap niya ang ating pagkatao at sa pagyakap niya sa ating pagkatao, nabigyan niya tayo ng pagkakataong yakapin ang Diyos. Ang Leksyo Divina sa kapangyarihan ng Banal na Spiritu, hinahayaan niya tayo na ang layunin ay makita ang mga bagay-bagay sa buhay ayon sa mismong pananaw ng Diyos. Let this be our prayer. Lord, allow me to see the way you see. Allow me to know the way you know. Allow me to understand the way you understand. Allow the word of Jesus to transform us into the very heart of the Lord. Puso ni Jesus, pag-iisip ni Jesus, pananaw ni Jesus. Ito ang nilalayon ng pagdiriwang ng Leksyon Divina. Mayroon tayong apat na pamamaraan na makatutulong sa pagdiriwang ng Leksyon Divina. Sa Leksyo Divina, ang Diyos ang magtuturo ng lahat. Leksyo, ano ang sinasabi ng pagbasa? Basahin ng bukas ang puso, bigyang pansin ang kapaligirang nakasaad sa kwento, ang mga taong nakasangkot, mga salitang ginamit, ang daloy ng kwento. Pasukin ang kwento. Meditatio. Ano ang sinasabi ng Ibanghelyo sa atin? May mensahe bang katulad ng sa ating kwento sa buhay? Maaaring sunda ng pangyayari, nasaan tayo dito? Sino ka dito? Habang nagsasalita si Jesus, ano ang iyong naririnig? Dito papasok ang karanasan ng pagtatagpo ng puso ng tao at ng kalooban ng Diyos. Oracho, panalangin. Sa mga narinig natin sinabi ng Diyos, ano ang tugon natin sa Diyos? Inaanyayahan tayong itaas natin ang ating kalooban sa Kanya, ang tugon sa tawag ng Diyos, ang tugon sa Kanyang sinasabi, ang tugon sa Kanyang salita. Ang panalangin ito, mga kapatid, ay lalong magaganap na napakaganda sa pamamagitan ng kapangyarihan ng Espiritu ng Diyos. Contemplatio. Sa paanong paraan binago ng pagbasa ang ating pananaw sa buhay? At itong pagtingin ito ang siyang mag-aakay sa atin sa kung anong konkretong pagkilos ang ating gagawin bilang pagtugon sa turo ng Diyos na hubuhubo sa atin. Lectio Divina invites us to have a deeper communion with God. I am the vine, you are the branches. Every time branches are connected to the vine, we will bear much fruit. Ang Lectio Divina, idinudugtong tayo ng mas malalim sa puso ng Diyos. 
kung saan ang kalooban ng Diyos ang siya rin nating nagiging kalooban. Ano nga ba ang kalooban ng Diyos? Ang gumawa ng mabuti, ang magmahal, ang maglingkod, isa buhay kung ano ang kanyang niluloob. Ito ang layunin ng Leksyon Divino. I've been serving God for almost 40 years now. And if I forget my why, why I do what I do, why I serve, why I preach, why I get up in the morning, everything is gone. And the only way for me to rediscover and embrace my why is by getting into the Word, by listening to His voice through Scripture and in the depths of my heart. Go forth and serve God. Be His light in the world by allowing His light to shine every day through Lectio Divina. Good morning. Today is Tuesday of 28th week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Alexander Balatbat.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We pray for healing and peace in our country and the whole world. We also pray for the birthday celebrants. Today, Sister Francesca San Diego, Father Glenn Relucio, Nanay Charing Santos, at the Arlene Show Merene. We pray for the soul of Ray Padiernos, Vio and Marina Show, Benny de Mesa, Benjo de Mesa, Anselmo Balatbat, Father Nomer de Lumen, Father Joel Victorino, Father Larry Faraon, Father Sunny Ramirez, Father Larry Sarmiento. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery, let us pause for a moment and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. God our Creator, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. God our Savior, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. God our destiny, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May all loving God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, for freedom Christ set us free, so stand firm and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. It is I, Paul, who am telling you that if you have yourselves circumcised, Christ will be of no benefit to you. Once again, I declare to every man who has himself circumcised that he is bound to observe the entire law. You are separated from Christ. You who are trying to be justified by law, you have fallen from grace. For through the Spirit, by faith, we await the hope of righteousness. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything, but only faith working through love. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord, your salvation according to your promise. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Take not the word of truth from my mouth, for in your ordinances is my hope. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. And I will keep your law and continually, forever and ever. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. And I will walk at liberty, because I seek your precepts. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. And I will delight in your commands, which I love. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. And I will lift up my hands to your commands and meditate on your statutes. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord.
Word of God is living and effective, able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus had spoken, a Pharisee invited him to dine at his home. He entered and reclined at table to eat. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not observe the prescribed washing before the meal. The Lord said to him, O oh, you Pharisees, although you cleanse the outside of the cup and the dish, inside you are filled with plunder and evil. You fools, did not the maker of the outside also make the inside? But as to what is within, give alms, and behold, everything will be clean for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Tila galit na galit si Jesus sa Ibanghelyong narinig. Jesus cannot tolerate hypocrisy. Jesus keeps on unmasking hypocrisy, which is the work of the devil, as Pope Francis would say. Jesus criticizes his host for being concerned only with what is outward appearances and superficial rituals saying, although you cleanse the outside of the cup and the dish, inside you are filled with plunder and evil. Jesus was angry at that time. The Pharisee invited Jesus not to befriend him, but to test him. Hypocrisy is the language of the devil. It is a language of evil that enters into our hearts and destroys our soul. Pope Francis explains that the behavior of the Pharisee was not tolerated by Jesus. It is hypocritical. Again, the Pharisee invited Jesus to lunch to judge him, not to befriend him. Hypocrisy is the language of the corrupt. They do not like the truth. They only like themselves and so they try to deceive and to involve others in their falsehood, in their lying. Ang ipokrito sinungaling hindi nagsasabi ng totoo. There is always a discrepancy between what the hypocrite says and what is inside his heart. They have a false heart and they are unable to tell the truth. One time, a friend of mine said, Do not argue with the devil because they do not have the capacity to tell the truth. They have a language, the hypocrite, they have a language called diabolical. Remember the temptations of Jesus? Kung nagugutom ka, gawin mong tinapay ang bato. Bakit ka magtatrabaho ng mabigat? Lumundag ka na lamang mula sa do doon sa tuktok ng templo. 
In fact, there were many people who were praising Christ and then up of betraying Him. Hosanna sa anak ni David. Sa pagpasok sa Jerusalem, pagpasok, anong sigaw? Ipako siya sa krus. Kung sino ang pumupuri, siyang nananakit. Kung ang isalubong sa iyo ay ngiti at pakitang giliw, lalo mong pakakaingatan, kaaway mong lihim. Hypocrisy is certainly not the language of the truth. For truth is never alone. It is always accompanied by love. There is no truth without love because love is the first truth. Ang kauna-unahang katotohanan ang tawag pagmamahal. And if there is no love, there is no truth. That's why even St. Paul keeps on inviting us examination of one's motive is very important. Jesus condemned these people with the word hypocrites. They are people with, with greedy souls capable of killing and they are paid to create bad news. Kaya yung mga naglalabas ng mga fake news sa Facebook, they are hypocrites. Sometimes they, 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 they talk in a nice way. Habang ikaw ay nginingitian, sinasak ka sa likuran. Kung minsan mga paawa effect, kung minsan gusto natin siyang tulungan, well in fact, the reason you have to see to it What does this, peep, this person insinuate? Kung minsan may mga akala mo'y mabuti, hindi pala. May mga binabayaran para lumikha ng mga maling balita na kamamatay. Kaya nga si Paul Francis matindi ang kanyang pagbibigay diin sa mga chismoso at chismosa, they are the terrorists of the church. Gossips can kill. They are the hypocrites. And what is the antidote for a hypocritical disease? The only medicine to cure hypocritical behavior is to tell the truth before God and take responsibility for oneself. We are invited by the gospel now to reflect on what is inside us, to see the sin, the hypocrisy, and the wickedness that is in our heart. Jesus never tolerated hypocrisy. The antidote for hypocrisy is sincerity and humility. Allow this gospel today help us to re-examine our heart Totoo ba tayo sa ating mga sinasabi? O tayo din ay balot ng pagpapanggap at pagkukunwari? Ang nagmamahal kay Kristo, nagsasabi ng totoo. Ang sumusunod sa Diyos, hindi sinungaling. Ang nagmamahal sa Diyos, inaamin ang kanyang pagkakamali. 
at humihingi ng pagkakataong magsimulang muli. Amen. For every prayer, our response, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church, especially its leaders, may take to heart the task of renewal and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That government officials may show sincere concern for justice, dignity, and unity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the media personnel may lead the people to the truth and promote the gospel values. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may find hope, healing, strength, and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may reward the faithful departed with eternal happiness for their faithful service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Pray, sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be made acceptable to God, the all-loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness, we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, He humbled Himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, He freed us from an ending death. And by rising from the dead, He gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, us without end, we acclaim.
are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Francisco, our Bishop, Noli, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Prayer of Jesus Our Father who art in heaven Hallowed be thy name Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the peace of Jesus. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are going to partake in his sacred broken body. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on immaculate us. heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. We pray the rosary every day for the peace in our country and the whole world. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May all loving God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God loves you. Mama Mary loves you. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.
aking tagapagligtas sapagkat nilihingap niya kababaan ng kanyang alipin mapalad ang pangalan ko sa lahat ng mga bansa Father Alex Balatbat, I was assigned by our bishop here as the administrator of the Our Lady of Antipolo Retreat House. The Our Lady of Antipolo Retreat House is located inside the St. Michael compound, St. Michael Retreat House, San Jose Extension, San Isidro Antipolo City. Strength for all. 